wonderful people. Groovy mom here. Sal and I are on our way home from doing our St. Patty Day shopping. Our initial reason we are halfway across town is because we decided to go to Whole Foods because Sal has not come to terms with the fact that Whole Foods does not have good samples anymore. Ever since Amazon took them over, all they put out is maybe a couple pieces of cheese, maybe some bread, and it's usually the same cheese and bread every single time. They used to have um, chips, dips, cheese, uh, fruits, crackers. all kinds of stuff, crackers, just all kinds of stuff, stuff from their like deli and everything. Now it's just bleh. Well, I mean, I like cheese. Like it was, it was still a snack. Wine, they have wine tasting sometimes. Oh, but today they did have smoked salmon. Mm -hmm. So I guess I can't talk too bad about them because that smoked salmon was, I mean, it was a nice, good, good, good sized chunk. And so then we stopped at another place and they had Irish soda bread and Kerrygold butter for sample. That was good, wasn't it? That was pretty good. That was good, yeah. Sal is driving. He's starving. His little belly hurts. He's so hungry. He has to get home and eat. Wow. I was at the Princeton Club with uh, Mikey Flo. Oh. So we got a good workout in today. So we got a carb load after that. Oh yeah. Hi Flo family if you're watching. I am going to cook with your kiddos one of these days. Sometime this spring when they're not too busy. That would be nice. So we're going to go home, put a little something in our gullet so we can survive a afternoon of cooking and I will probably, probably record it, right Sal? Yeah. Yeah. All right. So happy St. Patty's Day. What's up? What's up St. Patrick's Day? How do you do an Irish accent? How do you do a Conor McGregor? But then I'd be like swearing up a storm. Yeah, how do you I'm say? Not too good at the McGregor accent. Uh, I, I am, but the ones that I do would be like words that I wouldn't want to say on here. Oh. Yeah, because the only word I know is the, you know. I'll have to practice. I'll practice and we'll come back later. <laughs> okay, I'll, I'll show you the zoo in a second. Okay, so I'm just taking a quick video. Maybe someday we'll come and walk here. Um, I love to walk around the zoo area. It's so beautiful. And especially if you come at sunset um, and look over the little lake here. Oh my gosh, it's just... It's wonderful. But it's called Violus Zoo, and if you come here about four o'clock, I believe it is, they feed the lion. They will roar, and it's it's really cool. This is what she does a lot of the time. These are my two corned beef briskets. I put um, a little extra pickling spice on there, plus a little extra garlic. And I have the oven at 300. That's gonna go in there for a few hours. And then I'm gonna make the Irish soda bread and something else. Oh, the brownies. Uh, and the potatoes. No. <laughs> no. All right, so we have Sal is recording, but make sure you get the food, not just me, you know, but Sal's recording. I'm working on the, the potatoes. I have probably a, I think it's about a three pound bag of potatoes. Frank cleaned them for me. And so I'm just, I'm just chopping them up into, you know, decent sizes. I'm not doing too small. Like, I don't know if you saw the roasted um, sweet potato rest, uh, video, but I'm doing a little bit bigger than that. I don't have my microphone. I hope it can hear me. Probably. I hope so. But, you know, this is one of those things where if you got uh, one oven like I do and you're making, you know, a good amount of food, you just got to kind of improvise a little bit and mix it up a little bit so that you can cook everything. And hopefully not a disaster. So are these gonna end up being the golden potatoes we're talking about? Yeah. Mm. Uh, okay, I know you wanted sweet potatoes, but these potatoes just go better. Look at that. Are these healthier? Um. Probably not. 
I think sweet potatoes are pretty healthy, so no. This is a I don't know. Day. This is a cheat day. Yeah. Every day is a cheat day up in here. So yeah, it's a cheat day. It's a Sunday, so sell. I don't know. Whatever. He says he can cheat today. So I'm going to not. I'm not going to put a ton of stuff in here. Um, I am going to use some of uh, that Lowry seasoning salt. I'm also going to throw in some rosemary. Do we want it to be have a little kick to it or no? No. Just regular. Yeah. No, a kick meaning should I put some cayenne in here? No, nah, this should be fine. Okay. Nice and salty. Uh oh, Nucci's like, uh, excuse me. Uh, excuse me. It is. It's. It's. So did you say no to the cayenne? Yeah. Okay. So then I'm not gonna put any cayenne in here, but that's weird. But I am gonna put our friend Mr. Olive Oil, and I'm gonna be pretty generous. A lot of the time, I just go ahead and do this on the pan. I don't know why I did it today. And actually, I don't think I have to get my hands all oily because I can just do it this way. You just want to make sure that the potatoes are covered. You can obviously add more once they start roasting. Um, you know, adjust your seasoning. These look pretty good. I'm going to add a little bit more. I'm going to add some garlic. That's what I forgot. I feel like I'm I feel like I'm forgetting stuff. Sal and I were trying to work on our Irish accent still. I'm still it's a no-go. But the main thing is that you want them coated with the olive oil, because the olive oil is gonna be what, what's gonna help roast them. So these look beautiful. Now I'm gonna go ahead and throw these on my pan. I got parchment on here. When I can, I like to cook without the tin foil. You can read up on the concerns about cooking with tin and aluminum. Um, parchment works great, so I, you know, I don't, I'm not really sacrificing anything. Um, now you could do these on two sheets, but because like I said, I am kind of compromising my oven space here. I'm gonna do it on one. I got it at a low temperature. It's probably gonna go for a couple hours and um, it'll be fine. So I just wanna get these started because I still have brownies to make and I'm getting warm my glasses are sliding down my nerves um, I still have soda bread to make and then brownies so I'm gonna need my oven I'm gonna need to kick my temperature up um, about five o'clock I'd say so I'm gonna pop these bad boys in How is it? It's good. Are you gonna take a drink? Hey, it ain't settled yet. Happy St. Patricio's Day. St. Patty's Day. Top of the morning to you. Top of the morning to you. Are you gonna take a drink or are you just gonna fake it? Salute. Only one real Irishman here, but it's not me. Morning from Goodfellas. Top of the morning. There's only one real Irishman here. That was what was his name? Jimmy Conway. All right. So these potatoes have been in about two hours at 300. Not me. Potatoes. Not me. Potatoes. And look, they are golden brown. Roasted. I did add a little more seasoning salt to them because shoot, because um, they just weren't exactly salted enough for me. And I think I'll just probably put a lid on this and then heat them up in a little bit. All right. <laughs> See that? Okay. Uh, so these are the briskets. This one, uh, I think, shrunk to half its size. So I put all of my 
dry ingredients together for this Irish soda bread. I'm gonna give it a quick whisk because I didn't really whisk it up. We're just gonna go with it. So I'm gonna throw all that in together. And I'm gonna add this. And I'm gonna mix it up. Like I said, I have made this before, but not on the regular, so I don't 100% remember anything about consistency or I don't really remember anything, to be honest. We also are making these. Remember I told you about the brownies? Oh, maybe I didn't because uh, we had to redo a video because someone didn't think that their hair looked good. It wasn't me. It was you. Talking about how I can't find any brownie recipes that I really like. I've tried a lot of different brownie recipes brownie recipes and none turned out good. So the two brownies that I do like are Aldi and the Ghirardelli, is it Ghirardelli, Ghirardelli, Gardelli, blah, blah, I don't know. Ghirardelli, you think? Yeah. Well, anyway, that's the only, those are the only ones that I like. I guess the Pillsbury ones are okay, but I find the Aldi ones to be superior. So, fancy that. So now I've got kind of a, Crumbly, almost looks kind of, well, I don't want to say biscuity, but sort of. So it says I'm supposed to grease a baking sheet, turn it out on a floured surface, and knead lightly. There's a little nooch. A little nooch. He's wearing um, his little lucky St. Charm. Patrick's Day attire. Hey. Eek. Mommy's little lucky charm. <laughs> Ooh, wee, that's too close for comfort. Well, cool. I'm going to go ahead and turn this out. Alright, so I'm putting this on a floured surface. Here goes. Nada. Knead lightly. 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 I guess it's coming together, so that's good. Okay. All right. So we needed, we got that. And now, I guess you're supposed to do this. You can do this a few times during the baking process. Uh, we'll see if I have time and remember. I guess I'm going to remember because I just put half a, or a quarter cup of butter in there and butter ain't cheap. Like I said, mark it with an X. And then this puppy goes in the oven. 45 to 30 minutes or uh, 45 to 50 minutes but it said to test it after 30 so unfortunately we were so famished that we had to dig in so I'm just going to show you the massacre those were the potatoes which we almost forgot to eat Irish soda bread which is um pretty heavy kind of sweet Frank thought it was kind of like cornbread the butter didn't make it through unscathed then over here we got the corned beef. We cut those up and just put them in the crock pot so they'd stay warm. That was it. It was a pretty simple meal. It was good. It doesn't look done, but it was done. I, I temperature gauged it. And then brownies at the end. Those look good. See how it's got that crackle? My favorite part, just cut this part out, the inner, and give me the sides. That's all I like. Mm -mm -mm. I know. Well, we're going to we're gonna have to get to fighting over that. Uh, I think that's it.